I want to, uh, without objections, I would like uh, to enter Mr. Foster's request for unanimous consent uh, for the letter uh, to be inserted into the record, uh, and I'm uh, ordering that that be done. I would also uh, like to enter into the record four letters uh, this committee has received in recent days from organizations representing healthcare institutions and workers. The American Medical Association, the American College of Emergency Physicians, National Nurses United, and the American Association of Medical Colleges. Each of these groups has written to emphasize that healthcare workers around the country are still experiencing shortages of critical supplies, including masks. I ask unanimous consent that these letters be entered into the official hearing record, and it's so ordered. In closing, I want to thank the witnesses and my colleagues on this select subcommittee. Today's hearing made clear uh, that as coronavirus infections and hospitalizations spike around the country, communities are facing alarming shortages of personal uh, protective equipment and testing supplies. We need urgent action from the federal government to address these shortages now, before more people are exposed and the virus spins further out of, out of control. There are clear and tangible steps the federal government can take. First, we need a clear chain of command so the federal government can make efficient use of its vast resources and career professionals to identify the need and procure and distribute supplies. Second, the administration needs to adhere to rigorous contracting practices, including open competition, to make sure it is not favoring inexperienced, politically connected suppliers over businesses with a track record of success. Third, the federal government must establish a comprehensive plan to directly procure and distribute critical supplies rather than continuing to defer to the private sector. I cannot emphasize this enough. Our federal government has the resources, the manpower, and the legal authority under the Defense Production Act to procure the necessary supplies and quickly get them to the communities that need them. It's time we use them. I appreciate the hard work of each of our witnesses and their colleagues at FEMA, the Department of Defense, and Health and Human Services. But to ensure this problem gets fixed, we need you to keep Congress apprised uh, of your progress. I'm therefore calling on FEMA, HHS, and DOD to provide this committee with my weekly updates on the projected supply and demand for PPE and testing supplies. I look forward to continuing to work with each of you to ensure that our government is working to help all Americans during this national crisis. And with that, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>